Hello and welcome to the Continuous Integration video series. This three-part series will highlight the important phases that are included in the Continuous Integration lifecycle and demonstrate how Talend embodies the Continuous Integration philosophies, making your development efforts more efficient and speeding up your time to production. This first video will focus on the development of test cases within Talend Studio. Let's get started. Talon defines continuous integration as a development practice where members of a team integrate their work frequently, with each integration being verified by an automated build to detect integration errors as quickly as possible. This requires the development of test cases that can be repeatedly executed to verify the quality of your code. With Talon 6, you can build and execute the test cases right within the studio. It may help for me to show you an already successful test before showing you how to build one and run it yourself. I already have my studio open. I'll use a job that aggregates salary by employee title. To do so, it enriches the employee list with the salary date via a lookup. I already have a test case of this TMAP component created for this job, so I'll open it within the design window. With the test case open in the design window, I can navigate to the test case view where I specify the input file, which is my source file, my second input file, the salary lookup file, and my reference data file, my expected result of the enrichment. To run my test, I simply click the job in the tree and select run test case. It may take a few moments and the results will show up in the test case view, informing us of any errors that interfered with our test running successfully. But this one ran smoothly. Now that we've seen what a successful test looks like, let's build one together. With Talend, you can test one to many components in a single test case. But for now, let's just test this single aggregator component. In the main job design window, right-click on the icon and select Create Test Case from the dropdown. Provide a name and also a purpose and description if needed. And click Finish. Just that quickly, our test case has been automatically generated. The test case references the components that we are testing. Test Fixture sets up the scenario input file. Once the test case is executed and the actual output is generated, test assertions are made by comparing the actual output to our expected output. We now need to define those for our test case. Head down to the test case window and select the input file. Browse for the file you want to send into the aggregator. And then we will need to specify our expected test result. And we've created our test case. Let's run it. Hmm. Looks like we have some errors in our job configuration that are preventing our test case from running successfully. So, I'll head to the aggregator component in my job to make sure everything is accurate. Ah, here is our problem. Now that everything has been fixed, I'll save my job and run the test case again. And now my test case is successful, so I know my aggregator component is configured correctly. Thank you so much for watching this video on building a test case in Studio. Your next step is to watch the following video about automating your build process. Thank you very much.